What's up, Interweb? Raikwin here, and welcome to the very first episode of Raikwin's Dream Teams. Now, this is going to be a little series I'm going to do. Basically, I'm going to team build on Showdown whenever I feel like it. You guys are going to help me create a team on Twitch, and then what I'm going to do is take that on to Showdown and bring it to a video on YouTube. So if you want to help me build a team on Twitch and get this team featured on YouTube, then come to my streams, pretty much. And if you were in the stream and helped me build this team, then yay, it's on YouTube, and you know how amazing it is. So, I wanted to have an OU team built around Mega Agron. This was the first stream I did, team building stream I did. I wanted an OU team around Mega Agron because I'd never used one before. Um, so, we got the Mega Agron fire. It was open to suggestions from people who viewed the stream. And we decided we wanted to run a Rock Polish set with Heavy Slam. So we could have done Automize, but then Heavy Slam wouldn't have done much. So we went for the Rock Polish instead. And with the Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. With 4 in HP, 252 attack, 252 speed. This is not a defensive one. He's completely offensive Mega Agron, which is going to be awesome. Really hoping to throw some people off Adamant Nature, of course. Then we have... Oh, sorry, that's Titan, the Mega Agron. Then we have Masquerade, the Chandelure. With the uh, with the choice scarf, with flash fire as its ability, with trick, flamethrower, shadow ball, and energy ball, the tricking choice scarf shadow ball should be very interesting. 252 uh, special attack, 252 speed, uh, timid. Uh, then we have star final hour, the star raptor, with lefties, with intimidate, with final gambit, roost, aerial ace, and close combat. Th th these are just a load of fun Pokemon, pretty much. I just want to run fun, fun stuff. So final gambit, uh, Star Raptor, 252 HP and 252 speed, um, jelly. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, then we have Finn Lee, the Vaporeon, also with leftovers with water absorb as ability with toxic heal bell, scald and acid armor. This guy puts it to work. 252 HP, 252 special defense, so it's a specially defensive Vaporeon, but it has acid armor. So if I can get one or two of those up, He's just unstoppable. And I have the heal bell in case people try to poison Vaporeon and try and wear it down. I can just be like, nope, heal bell, and then I'm not poisoned anymore. It's gonna be great. Uh, then we have uh, Excadrill, Extra Bill, the Excadrill, with the Focus Sash, with Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Exorcist, 252 HP, 252 Speed, Jolly. Another pr pretty standard set, but necessary, I think. Really necessary to have a Rapid Spinner and a Stealth Rocker. So. Uh, then we have. Uh, Physically defensive Chesnaught, Raphael, the Chesnaught, Rocky Helmet with bulletproof as its ability with spiky shield, drain punch, seed bomb, and leech seed. 252 HP, 252 defense. Uh, what nature is that? Impish? I want to say it's Impish. It is Impish. Nailed it. Okay, so that's the team. And uh, I'm going to take this in OU and see if I can get a good battle. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we've got a match against Grapefruit22, who has Gengar, Snorlax, Metagross, Latios, Heatran, and Chiron Black. My goodness, the power that is on this team. Holy Christ. Um, okay. Who are they going to lead with? I'm going to say Heatran. I'm going to predict the Heatran lead, so I'm going to go with uh, Vaporeon. It's Latios. Okay. That's not too bad, because I am specially defensive. I'm going to take this opportunity to try and get up an Acid Armor, honestly. He has Thunderbolt, which only does 33%. Not even bad, Vaporeon. Not even bad. Uh, I'm going to Toxic this guy. He goes for another Thunderbolt. It's 34%. Get the Toxic off, which is nice and powerful. And I'm going to... Should I just do another Scald? I know I can live another Thunderbolt, but I could just go into Exodrill here. Um... Or Chesnaw. No, I don't want to do Chesnaw. Let's let's just go into Extra Drill, honestly. Let's go for Thunderbolt again. It's nice. And now, am I going to predict the switch? I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks, I think. Just go for Rocks. Get them up. Goes for the Surf. That was a good amount, but it's not enough to kill me. And anyway, I have my Sash anyway, so it's not too bad. Uh, he does have speed though. Um. I'm going to predict another Surf and go back into Vaporeon and get the Water Absorb. That would be nice. Yep, perfect. Get the Water Absorb off. Now I'm going to assume he's going to do another Thunderbolt, honestly. Um, which I know I can take. I'm going to set up another Rest Armor. 
Because why not? Energy ball? Okay. I see. Lowers my special defense. That's just spectacular. Okay, now I'm going to have to switch here. Um, and it's the last move he's got before he dies to Toxic. He might preserve it. Highly doubt it though because he died to rocks on the way back in. So I'm definitely going to switch. Who do I want to switch in to? Um, let's go... Let's go Chesnot. Unless he goes for a side shot. This is a great position if he does, but... Just goes for Thunderbolt. Yep, Chesnot can take that. And he's going to die to poison. Awesome. Now he's going to bring in probably Heatran here, I would, I would guess. But I mean, I have the Drain Punch, so... I can spiky shield to scout as well. Might do Gengar. Gengar would be awful for, uh, for Chesnot here. It is Gengar. Okay. Now... Do I want to Leech Seed and hope I can take a Psychic or a Death and Gleam or whatever he has? Because I know I can't. Um, could go back into Vaporeon, but he's damaged a lot. Um, I think I'm just going to Leech Seed, honestly. Goes for a Sludge Bomb. I'm immune because of Bulletproof. Yes! See, it would have been much worse if he'd have had the Sludge Wave, because that hits still. I do get the Leech Seed off, which is very nice indeed. And I think now I'm just going to Spiky Shield. And if he wants to switch, then that's absolutely fine. He does stay in. Goes for the Shadow Ball. I do get the Protect off, and I get some more Leech Seed Recovery, which is nice. Now, do I want to risk going into Vaporeon right now? I don't have very much reliable recovery on Vaporeon, which sucks. I have the Water Absorb, um, and I have Leftovers. But nothing much more than that. So, who do I want to go into here? I'm going to have to go into Vaporeon. And just hope I can sponge this hit up. That is not even bad. 23%. Vaporeon, you absolute legend. I'm going to... Should I Scald? Should I Acid Armor? Hmm... I'm going to Scold, because he has a Thunderbolt, it still doesn't kill me because Vaporeon is too friggin' good, and I get some more Leech Seed recovery, and Gengar dies, which is awesome. Whoever he brings in, though, is definitely going to kill Vaporeon right now. Um, it is the Chiron Black. It does take a little bit of damage from that, uh, from the Stealth Rocks right there. I'm going to Scold. It's going to kill me anyway. Dragon Claw takes me out, and... Do I want to try and trick this Kyren? No, I don't, because I don't want him scarfed. Um, can I outspeed this Kyren and get off a final gambit? There's a question. I think I can. I'm going to try this. Come on, Star Raptor. And you know you want to stay in, Kyren. You know you want to stay in. Let's final gambit right now. Let's find. He's going to predict the close combat. I'm probably going to Metagross. I don't think I can kill a Metagross with a final gambit, but. He stays in. Final Gambit, Star Raptor, putting in work. You absolute legend. Okay, now. Um, who's going to bring in? Heatran, Snorlax, or Metagross? Chesnot is good against Snorlax and, well, kind of, Heatran. Chandelure is good against... Uh, Metagross. Uh, Agron. Can put in work, but it depends. I think I'm going to go Excadrill just to try and, like, scout. He's not very useful right now. I'm just going to try and scout what this guy wants to do with Excadrill, I think. He does go Metagross, which is probably his Mega. So he's probably going to Mega Revolve right now. I'm just going to go for an Earthquake, just on the off chance that I can actually do some damage here. He might switch out. Maybe he has an air balloon on Heatran, but I would expect him to stay in because he can probably take me out with anything. It is Mega. I do get the Earthquake off, which is very nice, which does a lot of damage. That's awesome. He takes me out with his Earthquake, but now I can definitely outspeed with um, 
chandelier and get up for flamethrower on this guy, but you might switch into heatran with the flash fire. But don't really want to risk that. Unless I just go for the shadow ball. That's a much safer play. They could potentially go into storm axe. I'm going to try and risk it anyway. I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball. I would expect him to predict the Flamethrower and go into Heatran instead of the Shadow Ball and go into Snorlax. So I'm going to go Shadow Ball. Let's see if we got made this prediction right or not. Come on. Either stay in or go into Heatran. One of the two is fine. Just don't go into Snorlax. Oh, come on. I really want to get this right. I really, really want to get this right. Come on, Chandelure. Come on, Masquerade. He stays in. Shadow Ball. That's what I'm talking about. He's probably going to bring in Snorlax now. Because he's probably going to assume that I'm Scarfed because I did outspeed that Mega Metagross. Yep, brings in the Snorlax, which is the correct play to make. I am going to go into uh, Chesnaught right now. Because I'm physically defensive. And I can Dream Punch this guy in the face. So, he does go for the curse. Okay, cursing Snorlax is one of my main hobbies. Um, hashtag puns. Uh, let's... I could spike shield. No, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to Leech Seed right now. He does switch out, goes into Heatran. I'm going to get this Leech Seed off, which is very nice. And now, I think I'm just going to scout. He's probably just going to go for the Lava Plume or something. Which means I could go into uh, Masquerade. Uh, Masquerade? I almost said Masquerade. <gasps> I doubt have Masquerade on my team. Um, I could go into Masquerade and try and trick this guy, predicting the Lava Plume. I'm going to try that. I'm going to go into Chandelure, see if I can get the Flash Fire boost. I do get the Flash Fire boost, and now I'm going to trick, I think. Maybe. Let's trick. I'm going to trick this Heatran. All the Snorlax if he wants to switch, whatever. I do trick, I give him a choice scarf, and I get an assault vest as he goes for the dark pulse so I can eat the dark pulse even better. That is spectacular. So now he's locked into dark pulse. How does this help me? Because I can bring in Chesnor freely, knowing that he's locked into dark pulse. I can eat that up all day. Um, nom, 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 nom. Well done, Raphael. And now I can just fire off drain punches. Honestly, because uh, it hits the Snorlax and the Heatran, so let's just Drain Punch. Goes for another Dark Pulse. Ain't gonna do a damn thing, I can Drain Punch. Kills the Heatran. Oh, this is going so well. And now, Snorlax is left. I should have this, because I think even if he can take out Chesnaught, he cannot take out my Mega Agron. I'm fairly certain. So, let's go for a Drain Punch. Pow! That does a good amount of damage. Oh my god, he goes for the Curse, which means I'm definitely gonna outspeed him this turn and take him out. No worries about that one. Let's Drain Punch again. Chestnut puts in the finest of work, and we win. That is what I'm talking about, and that is the first episode of Rykwin's Stream Teams. This is an awesome team. Thank you guys for helping me build this team. I really, actually, really, really, really like it. Really uh, unorthodox and catches people off guard, which I love. So thank you guys for helping me build this team. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. You can uh, subscribe if you want to. Up to you. Whatever. And if you want to be part of another team that I'm going to build, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Rykwin, so you can get a notification when I'm streaming, so you can come and join in and help me build another team, which will get featured on YouTube as well. So, do all the things I just said, because I don't want to repeat myself, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodaloo.